Hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap video. Today we're going to do something a little different and go over the math of America Chavez. When to add or not to add this card to your deck. For those that don't know, America Chavez has the ability that you always draw this on turn 6 and not before. The not before turn 6 being the key part because we can then use this card to increase the consistency of our earlier draws. And she's still a decent power play on turn 6 when you draw her. Under normal circumstances, for the first 5 turns, or your first 8 draws being your opening hand of 3 and 1 card per turn for 5 turns, your deck essentially has 11 cards. You actually get more impact from this effect as well if you can draw additional cards in those five turns, whether that be from a location or a card effect. So let's look at an example with a card like Apocalypse. Apocalypse wants to be in your hand before turn six so that you can discard it with your discard effects and get the additional power. With American Chavez in your deck, the odds of drawing it by turn five is 72.7%, but without America Chavez, it's only 66.7%. So this is a difference of 6%, which may not seem like a lot, but if you're playing a lot of games, this will yield value over time. Let's dig into a few other examples. So with a card like Korg, you want to play it on turn 1 to put the rock into your opponent's deck as soon as possible. The odds of drawing it by turn 1 with an America Chavez in your deck is 36.4%. Without the Chavez, it's 33.3%. .3. So this is an additional 3.1%. Again, not a lot, but this is very early in the game where you've only drawn a few cards, and over time, it's effective. The next example is Angela, who is best drawn on turn 2 so that you can consistently play cards to her location. With America Chavez, it's 45.5% chance to draw by turn 2. Without America Chavez, it's 41.7%. And so this is a difference of 3.8% in our favor. Another example is Wave from Pool 3. She has the effect that when you play her on the following turn, all cards cost 4, and so she's best played on turn 3. The odds of that happening with America Chavez in your deck is 54.5%, and without America Chavez, you're looking at 50%, with a 4.5% difference. Another Pool 3 example is Wong who has the ongoing effect that your on-reveal effects happen twice at this location. And at 4 cost, he's best played by turn 4, so that on turn 5 and turn 6 you can take advantage of the double on-reveal effects. The odds of drawing Wong by turn 4 with American Chavez is 63.6%. Without America Chavez, you're looking at 58.3%, with a difference of 5.3%. Next up, we'll look at a card like Odin, who you want to play on turn 6 into a location that you've already committed powerful on reveal effects to. The odds of drawing by turn 5 with America Chavez is 72.7%, because on turn 6 you will draw the America Chavez. But the odds of drawing Odin natively on turn 6 without America Chavez is 75%. So this is actually a negative 2.3% difference, and is an example of when you don't want to actually include America Chavez into your deck. Now let's look at combinations. The odds of drawing card A plus card B by turn 5 with America Chavez is 50.9%, and without America Chavez is 42.4%. This 8.5% differential is the largest difference between any of the examples we have showed and is the best use case for America Chavez if you have multiple cards that you want to play before turn 6. 
Next, the odds of drawing card A plus card B by turn 6 with America Chavez is 50.9, and without America Chavez is 54.5%, since you'll be drawing America Chavez on turn 6. So this is actually negative 3.6 difference, and is an example of when you would not want to play America Chavez. So an example would be something like a Mystique and a Patriot from Pool 3. Since you can play both of those cards together on turn 6, America Chavez is not helping your consistency. So in summary, consider America Chavez when you want to draw a particular card or cards before turn 6, and you don't care what you draw turn 6. If you could draw a key piece of your deck on turn 6, then America Chavez will get in the way. Don't consider America Chavez when you want to draw a particular card or cards by turn 6, when you want to take advantage of that ninth draw, or you don't care what order you draw your cards, and maybe you need that 12th space in your deck. Deck building is very tight in Marvel Snap, and she's not always a good use of a space, even if you're getting a marginal increase in consistency. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something. Please let me know if you want to see more things like this, and leave any feedback or questions you have for me in the comment section below. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.